So I'm gonna go down this aisle because I want everyone to see all the stuff. I'm assuming this is all the stuff that we've just seen backed up on cargo ships and everywhere around the country. So you can't get dog food, you can't get cat food hardly. You know, you're paying through the nose for all this other stuff, but do you need a new decorative clock today? Oh. <laughs> Look at all this. Nobody's buying it. Oh, is this yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. You saved 10 cents yesterday, honey. <laughs> This is, yeah, can you believe that? That is insane. Okay, so we have some Meow Mix, the size. I don't buy this, but what is this? So 48, oh, 48 ounces, 515. Nine lives, a little bit of that, smaller batches, 490, 490 if it's in the right spot. The rest of this is empty. Um, looks like you've got, Friskies down here, so you're looking at 16.25, folks. Right here, you've got a little bit of Purina hairball, hairball stuff. Um, I'm assuming that's the six. It's cat chow. Sixteen dollars for this size, and they do have some Purina, so they, this is faring a little bit better than a lot of other places at the moment. Okay, so, hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We're trying to uh, multitask today, and we are run we have to go get feed. So we just went and got a bunch of feed. We're trying to stock back up on a lot of different feeds and things that we need for our animals. And along the way, we end up passing, what, two or three different Dollar Generals. And I like the Dollar General from time, you know, going in there from time to time because it's convenient. Here is the thing that um, I wanna talk about, which I think a lot of people unknowingly don't understand when it comes to folks that live incredibly rural, <laughs> really rural, actually even more rural than where we're going through right now. A lot of times they are limited 
in the places that they can shop at. So, you know, I know from time to time I see comments about like, I wouldn't shop at Walmart if my life depended on it. Well, you know, I get that and I, that's fine. Everybody has their preferences and all of these things and for, for good reasons. But at the same time, it is very heartbreaking to live in a place where it doesn't take very long to be incredibly rural and a lot of the folks that live way out a lot of them a lot of the times don't have a lot of money okay so they are very limited on resources they are limited on places they can go shop they are limited on places how many gas stations they have they're sort of a prisoner if you will to where they live so I wanted to, uh, to stop in at the Dollar General here just to kind of see what they have, pick up a few little things, which is, I did, a few little things. We really wanted to see what items they, I want to see where the holes are. So obviously, um, through the filming that I've done today, you can see some of the prices. They didn't have any eggs. There's no eggs. So if that little Dollar General is basically the closest place for you to grab the basic conveniences of life, meaning milk, butter, eggs, marinara, I don't know, just come, obviously most people understand what is at the Dollar General, right? So you look at those prices and think about all of these people that are living way out and that is pretty much their option. Now they may, you know, pack up and head into a larger town. We, we had to do that. We still somewhat do that. Make an effort to go to a place where there's more stores. But here's the thing, when the economy is suffering and people can't afford things, especially when they can't afford things like gas, they can't afford their electric bills, because I'm seeing a lot of things on electric bills right now. Um, they have to make choices. So they try to most likely, in my opinion, tell me if I'm wrong, James, they stick closer to home. Well, when you stick closer to home and you go to the only place to shop, which is usually a, a Walmart, a Dollar General, um, there might be a Piggly Wiggly, there might be an Ingalls or a Food City, but they're typically a lot higher than what you're seeing in here. They're, they're expensive. So when you see these prices, we, we get really frustrated because we're having to pay these prices but I want people also to understand that it's getting to a point it's already at a point where I mean there's families all over even in big cities okay I'm not saying I'm not dismissing that that cannot afford four and five dollars a gallon for milk maybe you can that's great I'm not knocking either way I'm just saying that when we walk through these stores I'm not necessarily thinking about holy cow look what I got to pay today even if some of it you might consider junk food unfortunately the reality is is I think about all these people that are living in this area and these are their choices and this is the prices that they have and not only that but how is this affecting their children their little kids I mean, when you're looking at paying five, six, seven dollars for a box of cereal, whether you eat cereal or not is irrelevant. That is what a lot of people buy and what people choose to, you know, have as a convenience to send their kids off to school with. But what happens when mama can't afford five dollar gallon of milk and a seven dollar box of cereal? What happens? So this is what we noticed. I tried to film as much as I could. We were trying to pretty much, you know, be in and out. Uh, there's no distilled water, as you have been noting and, and talking about. That's really one of the things we were looking for is, um, do they have distilled water in the gallons? Um, they don't. Some of the Dollar Generals around here do, but this one in particular does not. And it's interesting to see what inventory they have. I did find the animal crackers which is a dollar a bag. I think that bag I have at home that I paid 488 for yesterday, I think is 32 ounces. I'm gonna have to look. So it is a little bit cheaper to buy these little individual bags and every penny counts, but it's not a, it's not a ginormous savings, but every penny, you know, 88 cents, hey, we'll take it. Um, but what did we see holes in? We saw holes in just about everything with the exception of things like pillows, 
in houseware, uh, you know, all of that sort of stuff. And my guess, which I've already said, on, said here, my guess is we're seeing all this stuff that basically has been sitting around for the last two years, year, that was, you know, I don't know if it was floating out in the Pacific or where it was, sitting, sitting in LA, I don't know. But it's all kind of filtered through and it's basically clogging and junking up the stores. It's gonna to continue to do that because nobody wants it. I mean, do, I mean, do, I don't know. I don't need a new oven mitt today. No, I'd like to buy something to clean my windows with. Or, you know, if I had a baby that was sick, I need Tylenol for my baby, which that store, uh, <laughs> okay. Infant Tylenol, no. There was a, actually a few other little generics. I think it was for the uh, older children. But for infants, I just showed you the whole thing. So the question is, is how is this going to continue and how will it ever resolve itself? And so I, I really am trying to be, to make everybody aware that we all have preferences over where we shop, if we shop. Um, some of us are fortunate enough to have a, a vehicle and are able to make decisions to travel, um, you know, to, <laughs> I don't know if that recorded that or not. My phone's saying low battery. Um, you know, we can, some of us are fortunate enough, obviously, to hop in the vehicle and, and if we have to travel a little bit to go get what we need, then that's what we do. But there is a lot of people that aren't or who can't or that are disabled. So therefore, there's a punishment for them for living rural or not being able to get out because the bottom line is, is a lot of these places that are in rural communities are very expensive. Now there's digital coupons and there's couponing and look for sales. There's ways to get around all of this. I'm not disregarding that, but I'm just saying as a general note, um, this is what a lot of Americans, especially in rural communities are facing. I mean, I know that if you go over to somewhere small like uh, Robbinsville in North Carolina, just right over yonder, you know, they've got like two or three main gas stations. They've got one grocery store, Ingalls. You've got a dollar store, maybe a family dollar. There's not a lot of options. You have to travel. You have to come to Maryville or Knoxville to really do all the things you're wanting to do, or you have to go down to Murphy. That's just one example. So think about these things in these rural communities and all of these people, and a lot of these folks that live very, very rural, the thing is, they already, in a lot of cases, if they have a job, they're working at a small place, not making a big income, or they have to really travel in order to get somewhere to make a decent wage. Now, that's a good thing because maybe they have more options to shop, but I think there's a lot of folks out there, if you live in the suburbs or you live closer into town, and I'm not saying anybody's insensitive or anything, but like I said, when you're, when you're out in the, in the boondocks and all you've got is the Dollar General or that one Walmart, that's where most people are held to in terms of what they're going to be paying. And it's not good. And it doesn't look good. And like we've always said, uh, you know, in recent videos or over the last year, year and a half, you know, the thing is, are you getting the, the items in your store that you need? Despite the price, despite the inflation, are you able, are these stores, how are they lining up in terms of being able to get the children's Tylenol, the cat food, the eggs, compared to bigger places in town? I don't know. You tell me. You tell us. James, you have any quick thoughts real quick before you get on the interstate? <laughs> well, it goes back to what we've said before. To get the bang for your buck, you're going to really have to start planning and strategizing yeah because when you live in a rural area and you're 25 30 miles away from a place where you can have choices and get better pricing then you have to account for well is that two gallons of gas that i have to spend yeah. at three dollars and ten cents a gallon or whatever gas is in your area so when you add that in now you're looking at another six to twelve dollars on top of your groceries was it worth it right so we're going to close out the video i just wanted to take note if i'm going into somewhere to shop or to check things out 
I am making it a, an effort on my part to continue to watch prices, record prices, uh, and document prices so that we see where we are now, so that we, we know where we are maybe in six to 12 months, but it also shows you what we're do, what's happening here, showing you the holes in our places here and the prices. And you know we definitely want to hear from you everything that you're seeing, everything that you're experiencing, uh, your input on how to help people because it's really hitting home for a lot of people. And where's the end? I, it's nowhere in sight that I am seeing. So we appreciate you watching today. And uh, I picked up a few things, like I said, but get with some folks that you know, whoever that is, your sister, your mama, your neighbor, your best friend, and be working together to understand, okay, do you buy this product? Okay, well, you can't find it. Maybe I can find it when I'm out. That's going to be key. That's going to be the key in everything that we're doing, regardless of the scenario, is all of us working together, trying to help each other out and to give ideas of how to help people. We hope you're well today. Hope you've had a wonderful weekend. We've got a lot of videos coming up. We appreciate you so much for all the growth and the views and everything that's going on with uh, our channel is ex just exploding right now. So we appreciate you being here. Wonderful community. And I think if you are a new subscriber, you're definitely going to enjoy being here because, guys, I have the best followers in the world. Thank you so much for being here. Like, subscribe, and share. Tell us what you see. I'm bouncing around on 75. <laughs> We'll see you on the next video.